Hi everyone, welcome to Chalchitra Talks. I'm Vani and in this episode, I want to recommend to you Tales of Moonlight and Rain by Veda Akinari. But before I get into this video, I want to tell you about the course. Web of Networking course is finally out and you can check it out in the link in the description box below. I was one of the first people to actually watch it at full length from the beginning right until the end. And in case you go ahead and purchase it, this is what you will be getting yourself into. An intimate conversation with Vaibhav, listening to his experiences and brief encounters with important people who he has now built a strong network with. I truly recommend it to all of you to at least check it out. And the last time I checked, the early bird coupon was sold out. But you can purchase this course by using my code, which is Bani15. And it will be mentioned in the link in the description box as well. So do check out this course if you want to build some amazing network while you're navigating around in life. Coming back to the video, today I want to recommend to you Tales of Moonlight and Rain by Ueda Akinari. I came across this book while reading Kafka on the show and I picked it up because a concept that was being discussed in the book at this point and I did not understand it very well. And there was a short story that was a reference point, the Chrysanthemum Vow, which is one of the nine tales that are of this book. The book consists of nine ghost stories and it made me very uncomfortable when I realized it because this is one genre that I completely stay out of, horror. The only, I think, remotely horror thing that I've ever read is the Canterville Ghost, which I don't think you can count as horror. But I picked it up and all these stories are beautiful pieces of literature that celebrate Japanese and Chinese folklore. But you should pick them up because of how Veda Akinari has tried to explore human emotions. There are so many stories where spirits come back to the living and tell them of the things that caused them damage. For example, there's this short story, The Cauldron of Kibitsu, where a man has left his wife to be with another woman. And while he's away, his wife passes away. And he comes back and meets the spirit of his wife and he realizes how much hurt he caused him. And of course, one of my favorite short stories is that of the Chrysanthemum Vow, which is a story of two lovers, you may call them, or friends, who love each other so much so and they decide they'll meet in the spring of next year. But one of them is imprisoned and he can see that there is no way he can meet his friends. So he decides to kill himself so that his spirit can take his place and go and meet his friend. And throughout the book, you will discover, of course, how people lived in the 18th century, but you will realize the depth of human emotions. And in some of those stories, you will find yourself. So this was my recommendation for the week. I hope you guys liked it. And I will be back again with another recommendation for you next week. Thank you.